What's good, guys? How's everybody doing, my fellow comic geeks? As always, I'm Vernon Kidder back again. Welcome back to another episode of Indie Showcase. Indie Showcase, you guys know it. It is where I, your host, takes just the spotlight on independent comic books from the highest to highs to the lowest to lows and everything around. Y'all know the slogan, you gotta love it. Um, and today, guys, I'm here to uh, dive deep more into uh, books from Kickstarter that I helped, you know, and I appreciate. And a lot of them also will be digital. So I'm here to talk about one of the digital books, um, finally, called, if you can see that, Le Fay. Yeah, Le Fay. Um, this is issue number one. So far, I believe seven or six issues have come out more than six. Um, I have most of them. I haven't finished reading all of them. But what is this about? Okay, so what is when you say Lafay? What are we talking about? Well, this is the the character Morgan Lafay um, from you know King Arthur, half sister of King Arthur. You know, once the king of the fair, queen of the fairies, all that, and former lover to Merlin, all that stuff. Yeah, first of all, if you get a good look at the cover, it's great, right? Um, this is written by uh, Marcel uh, Dupree, as well as uh, created by uh, also Joshua Met Metziger, uh, and artwork done by uh, Miguel Angel Ruz. And, and his artwork is great, as well as color by uh, Ventoro a Stone and lettering by Justin Birch. This is under uh, Evazone Production Publishing. I'll leave all the description down below if you want to check it out for yourself. And um, so, yeah. So, what is this about? Okay, so what is. So, basically. This is about Morgan Le Fay. So basically, mix. So basically, we see back in Knights Aaron days, Morgan had a battle with Merlin. And Merlin defeated her. Not only did he defeat her, he ripped her wings off. Um, I can't, I don't want to show too much because at the same time, but here, here they are fighting, if you can get a good look at that. Here they are fighting. Look at that beautiful artwork. That artwork is beautiful, right? You know, they're here fighting. And Merlin is able to get the upper hand. And not only does he get the upper hand on, he rips her, her fairy wings off. And, and basically, Merlin stole her, her wings and drained her of her power and put her into an eternal sleep. So, and that was it. So, 1500 years later, a group called themselves the Triple Moon, I guess their witch covenant, uh, finds her, still sleep. There you go. That's, that's them. A witch covenant finds her, still sleep, binded, and wakes her up. And now she's in the modern era. And so basically she's in the modern era and she, this covenant of witches called the Triple Moon, they're, they're saying, if you do this for us, we'll, you do, you do jobs for us, we'll basically give you this, you know, that will restore your power. So they're, they're bargaining with her to restore her powers and so basically, for the past couple of centuries, since she's woken, Morgan Le Fay has been a private investigator and she elaborates in the cult and things like that, the occult. And so basically it's Jessica Jones S. She's like Jessica Jones if Jessica Jones was a, a 500, a 1500 year old badass sorceress. You know, basically, uh, that's the best way to describe it. And so, there, there. So her job here is to find uh, the the covenant wants her to find this 
this uh wants her to find this uh this creature or find out who killed somebody who they worked with and her her right hand man uh billy is a goblin <laughs> right there that's it right there looks like pip the troll but yeah he's he's, uh, he's a goblin and you know morgan in this she's you know she does like sleep around with mortal men and she just like you know i don't i don't understand why i do this you know she doesn't care for them and you know and you got one of the guys like hey, you had a good time love you know oh, i had a good time you know and she's just like she's like almost like if i have my powers i turn you into some you know you you know it's just stuff like that is really funny um so uh when they go see you know the triple the, the triple moon, each one of them represents a different witch. So you have uh, Wicked uh, Jenny Grinneth is the uh, river hag. Uh, you have Black Angus, mistress of blood magic, and Tilly uh, Balder, the, the toad witch. You can see them right here. I, I'm trying to make sure I get good those three right there. So they asked her to go look into these these deaths. Um, there was a, their former members of their cabal or their their covenant that died, and they want to know who killed them. So in the first issue, we see that we see the person who killed their their members, their former members, and basically uh, Morgan does all she needs to to find out uh, she does her detective work like she's a legit detective in this you know she she her and Billy you know argue a lot but they're still funny together it's it's so funny just to watch her and Billy just perform and 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 do their job you know Billy's always talking he's like I, 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 all I can hear is just a strong cockney accent come out of Billy and I'm, and I'm just like and it just all I hear is like I don't like this. We got no business being here. I'm scared, Morgan. Let's get on here. You know, I'm just I'm hearing that, and I'm just like, it's just my mind just starts going crazy. But yes, we do see um, once Morgan and them do find out uh, the means of who killed these people, but more importantly, the evidence proves more elusive in terms of who is responsible and here you guys here you go right here guys you got more you know morgan basically doing looking at clues and things like that trying to figure out you know who and then finally she realizes who is responsible when they they get a little bit more help and as soon as and as soon as basically they find out this these people were uh, holding a creature and somebody stole the creature. We find out who it is. And you got Morgan saying right there, she basically says, fucking Spring Hill Jack. Spring Hill Jack is in this and he is a serious badass. And he has stolen this creature and uh, they just call it the package, but it, there's something in there and he's gonna sell it to the highest bidder and that is uh that, that's the first issue uh which is really really um really really good i really enjoyed this the first issue of lafay was great the pacing was good the storytelling was good if you are familiar with these you know, Arthurian characters, then you're not going to be too lost. Everybody's got their own twist to how to betray these characters. But like I said, this is definitely, uh, you can definitely see a lot of homage to Jessica Jones. Um, just the way Morgan now, who is powerless, carries herself, you know, and even how she talks to people. And, you know, does she sleep around a lot? Yeah, she kind of does. That's kind of the same thing with you know, with uh, Jessica Jones, you know, so 
there's a lot of, of elements to it. And Billy is just a really cool character. He's funny. Um, there's even a part where Billy wanted to take um, uh, this pet. Like, he looks like a monkey mixed with something else. And he's like, come on, Morgan, let me let me take it. And she's like, I'm not bringing that into the office. And she's like, I'll take care of it, love. Like, come on. And, and she's like, it's your responsibility. And, you know, and he's like, and he's really happy about it. He's like, oh. He's like, cheers, love, I'll do, I'll do right by it. And it's things like that, it was just fun. Um, I have read the, the issue two and three. I will review those uh, real soon. But I wanted to get the first issue and just say, I really loved what you guys did, Mr. Debris and Mr. Uh, uh, Metzger. Metzger uh, you did a great job with this. This was so much fun. I've been a uh, follower and a supporter of this since the first issue like i said i have all the issues um on my my tablet right here i'm gonna read all of them um i just they just finished uh the kickstarter for i think issue seven i believe they put out the trade paperback of the first five issues um so if you want to go check it out for yourself like i said i will leave the description and the link of everywhere you can go uh, cop this this title but this was just really fun. I had a little blast reading it. It was so much fun. And once again, Mr. Uh, Ruz, your artwork was just great, sir. I really enjoyed the artwork. The artwork matched the... You know, sometimes you get people who do the cover, and then sometimes the artwork doesn't really match the cover. The cover matches the art. Equal value. Great stuff. Uh, so this was really fun. I really enjoyed this, guys. Um, do yourself a favor. If you like... I totally recommend this. If you are into Morgan Le Fay, and King Arthur, and all the knights and fairy tales and witches and just supernatural stuff, or you just like you're, you're big into Jessica Jones, this is it. This is it right here. Check it out for yourself. But with that being said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. I will see you guys next time. Um, there are more indie books. I don't, I don't really... All the indie books I told you about, I won't show because I'm just going to repeat myself. But I wanted to get Le Fay out there faster. So, yeah. Uh, Le Fay, very good book. Uh, and I will get the rest of the, the issues out. But with that being said, guys, you guys take care and uh, deuces.